So as you work through the questions on the Study at Engineers Academy platform, one of the things that you're going to notice is that there's some uh, contextual engineering questions included. Uh, these do involve fractions or percentages and have been included in there really to give you a bit of an idea of how you would apply these to real life engineering problems. So I take one here in particular um, and it refers to injection moulding machines. Now the question reads, two injection moulding machines are producing plastic components in a factory. Machine one produces 27 components per hour and each component weighs 267 grams. Machine 2 produces 39 components per hour and each component weighs 228 grams. Both machines are kept running for one whole 8 hour shift without stopping and during the 8 hour shift Machine 1 produces 96% usable parts. Machine 2 produces 98% usable parts. How many grams of scrap material are produced to the nearest gram? Well, as we approach this question, I'm not going to tell you exactly how to solve it. I'm just going to give you some pointers. Now, the question asks how many grams of scrap are produced. Um, that implies that it wants the total amount of scrap across the two machines. We've already said that machine 1 produces 96% usable parts. Now, what that means is if it produces 96% usable parts, it produces 4% that can't be used or a scrap. And machine 2 produces 98% usable parts. Therefore, it produces 2% which are scrap. So essentially what the question is asking us to do is to work out how much scrap material um, is produced by each of the machines and once we've got the scrap material from each machine we can add that together to give the total scrap. We do know how many components the machine each machine produces each hour. So machine one for example produces 27 components and each of those components weigh 267 grams. So the first thing we can do is work out how many grams of material are used on machine A per hour but then we'll need to multiply that by 8 because the machine runs for 8 hours. Okay, so that sum, 27 times 267 times 8, would give us the total amount of material used on machine 1 during the 8-hour shift. But we need to then multiply that by the decimal equivalent of 4%, so 0 0.04. The reason being is 4% of that material results in scrap. This time we're going to look at question 14. Now when you come to solve this question, you're going to begin in exactly the same way. You're going to calculate the total amount of scrap being produced by the two machines combined. But what this question asks, it says, if the material from all scrap parts is reused, how many, keyword there, full parts could machine 2 produce from the recycled material? By full parts, it means if from our calculation we deduce that 22.4 parts can be produced, that's 22 full parts. The 0.4 of a part doesn't constitute a full part. So we start in the same way. We calculate the total amount of scrap. And in this instance, we know that each component on machine 2 weighs 374 grams. Therefore, if we take our total amount of scrap and divide that by the mass of each part, it will give us the number of parts that can be produced on machine 2.